So when I hear the words deer rifle, the first thing I think of is one of these guns right here. This is the Winchester Model 1894 chambered in 3030. It was originally chambered in two black powder cartridges, the 3240 and the 3855. And the following year in 1895 is when this gun came out with the 30 caliber Winchester Centerfire, which is known as the 3030. This is arguably the most popular deer rifle ever produced. It was the first repeating firearm to use smokeless powder. So this means that you now had a round with higher velocity, flatter trajectory, more energy, and you basically could reach out further than you could with a black powder round, um, and it had less recoil. You know, it's a rugged lever action. Real smooth, really tight, re really solid gun. That's a John Browning design. So you know, John Browning is credited with developing the uh, single shot Winchester 1885. He developed several pump and slide action rifles, such as the Winchester 1890. He had several semi-autos that he developed, such as the Browning Auto 5 and the Remington Model 8. Various handguns, such as the Colt M1911. Uh, various guns for the military, such as the M2 machine gun, known as the Madus. Uh, that was chambered in 50 BMG, which he also developed the round for that. So John Browning is credited with more than 120 patents to his name, so he was a busy guy. Um, and he was a busy guy beyond his gun shop as well. So a little side note, it is said that John Browning was a polygamist with three wives and 22 kids. Uh, so he was a busy man. So three wives and 22 kids. No wonder he spent so much time in his gun shop. So it begs the question, how did this become such a popular rifle? Why was it this gun that became synonymous with deer hunting in America? Well, the gun was produced in great numbers. You know, it was affordable, it was easy to get, it was rugged and reliable, it's light, it carries well, acquires the target quick, and you know, it was state of the art then. You know, and this, this gun was loved by many even outside of deer hunting. Um, you see it in a lot of Westerns and law enforcement use it like crazy. So yeah, just beyond deer hunting, it was, you know, it was a, it was a popular gun. Um, so this one's a pre-1964. I think this particular one is from 1941. There's a difference in how these guns were manufactured prior to 1964. Pre-1964, uh, the guns were really good quality. But in 1964, Winchester ran into some, some financial troubles and they kind of changed some of the machining of the gun and how it was manufactured to reduce the cost of producing the gun. Um, ended up being basically a lower quality uh, gun. You know, often, like many times, when you try to save money, it becomes lesser quality um, after that. So you'll see people that are looking for, for a uh, Model 94, they're looking for a pre-64. <laughs> Personally, this gun is pretty special. This gun was my great uncle's. I don't know, you know, if he was an avid deer hunter, but he ended up passing this on to my father. Um, and I'm not sure the year that my father acquired this. My father was young. It was probably high school um, in that area. And my father shot his first deer with this gun. After he shot his first deer, uh, his parents bought him a new gun for Christmas. And I, actually, that's the gun that he still uses today. And I think he's virtually shot every one of his deer. Uh, with that gun other than his first deer, which was shot with this. Um, subsequently, uh, the same story holds true for me. I started hunting, in Maine you have to be 10 years old to deer hunt, so I started carrying this round as a 10 year old, and you know as a young hunter, uh, you know just a kid in the woods, uh, it was a great gun to carry all day uh, while I was following my dad around in the, in the woods. Um, when I was 15, I shot my first deer with this, um, which I've got a story uh, about my first deer, which I'll put a link right up here and in the description below if you're interested. Uh, but it was the largest rack buck that I'd ever shot. Uh, shot it tracking, and that was the last time this gun was ever hunted with. The following year, I worked my tail off to purchase a new gun. I've got a video on that gun, which I'll link right there and in the description below if you're interested in watching that. So this gun holds a special place in my heart. There's a family history behind it. There's a lot of good memories 
with this gun. You know, it served me well as a, as a young deer hunter uh, in the North Main Woods. <laughs> So, you know, as compared to a lot of modern rifles nowadays, this gun may struggle to reach out there um, the distance that a lot of the modern rifles will and cartridges that we have. Um, you know, it's got iron sights. I would basically say, at least for me anyway, within 100 yards, this would be an excellent deer gun, which suits the Northeast in Maine perfect, right? So we live in an area that um, densely wooded, a lot of people hunt on foot, that's how I hunt, and so most often your, tar your, your game is going to be close range, way within range of this gun. So it's a perfect gun for especially the Northeast hunter who, doesn't, who isn't going to be making long shots, who's going to be carrying the gun all day. You know, when I pick this gun up, you know, it's rugged, it shoulders really nicely. The target acquisition is awesome. I feel like a gunslinger with this gun. You know, it's, man, it's just a, it's a really nice feeling gun. Oh, it just, it shoulders phenomenally. This gun really brings me back. So that was 24 years ago, the last time this gun uh, was deer hunted with. And so, you know, today, here we are in 2022, we've got all kinds of modern rifles out there. Um, everyone's going after the latest and greatest, you know, the quote unquote best deer rifle. Uh, so, you know, is this gun relevant today? I mean, of course it is. You know, regardless of the tool you decide to use, regardless of the gun that you decide to use, um, it really comes down to the skill of the hunter as opposed to the tool. A skilled hunter can get the job done with any gun uh, within reason. Personally, I feel it's more important to be comfortable with a gun, to know a gun well, uh, to have the gun fit well, almost like it's an extension of your body. And then knowing the limits of your gun and the limits of yourself, uh, are, are way more important than, than the latest and greatest gun that's out there. That's really not going to make you successful. Uh, might give you that little bit of extra confidence, um, but man, there's nothing like having a gun that you know well, that everything's, it, everything is automatic. You don't have to think about a thing. You don't have to think about where the safety is, how to run it. Um, you know, basically it's just muscle memory. Everything can be just so natural when you have a gun that fits well, that you're familiar with, that you've used a lot, you know how it shoots, you know its limitations and you know your limitations. So you know, this gun, like I said, it's arguably the most popular deer rifle ever made. Uh, probably has shot the mo more deer than any other gun. Um, and if you're someone like me who lives in the Northeast or you live in an area that um, is pretty dense woods uh, and you're hunting on foot, you're going to spend a lot of time really, you're a stalker or a tracker, uh, you know, you're out in the brush, um, this is the perfect gun for that. It's reliable, lightweight, fast to acquire the target, uh, it's a good little gun to carry all day long. Even this gun's what, over 125 years old? It's still relevant today. Good gun. A lot of people have a special connection with this gun. You know, and I'm sure a lot of families have a similar story to mine. They've got a family Winchester model 943030 that's been passed down over the years to different family members. Um, and man, if those guns could talk, wouldn't they have some stories? So arguably America's most popular deer rifle probably has killed more deer than any other rifle out there. And it's still relevant in today's deer hunting world. So I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, get outside. It's good for the soul. See ya. Man, I, I miss this gun. I should bring this back. I should bring this out deer hunting. God, feels good. Yes. Feels like John Wayne. Carries, I mean, just snaps up there phenomenal well. Well, I guess that just about does it. Mm -hmm.